Yo, what's going on, everybody? It should be O Y the Twin Game Sports back. Give you another great video and topic. But y'all know the drill, man. Please hit that thumbs up button for me, subscribe, and then hit that bell button to get those notifications. But man, look, today's video is about Jackson State's upcoming defense. Could this year's defense be better than last year? Now, we know last year they had a tremendous season. They was tops in the nation in the FCS rankings. They ranked number one in SWAC defense overall. And they lost some guys, but they did add some guys like Josh Griffiths. Uh, he's a transfer from Florida State. He's a D lineman. He's looking to cause havoc, make a name for himself in the SWAC. But there are other guys who I believe who are going to put their imprint on this football team. And I'm just, you know, I'm throwing it out there. I'm wondering, could this group be better? Then they got, you know, a lot of shoes to fill. It's going to be tough. But I just wanted to highlight some guys who I think who are going to be great. And, of course, Travis Hunter, uh, the, the outstanding incoming freshman, he's going to be on the defensive side. But first, I wanted to talk about Mr. Shiloh Sanders. Yes, everybody. Dion, Coach Dion has another son uh, named Shiloh Sanders. He doesn't get enough recognition. You know, he's over Shiloh, but that's neither here nor there. Shiloh Sanders is a six foot cornerback slash safety, and he brings the hat. And I think he was a part of that group last year. They call him the Headache Gang. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I believe they were called the Headache Gang. But Shiloh Sanders has room to improve. I'm hoping that he's working on his ball skills. I'm hoping that he works instincts. And we know he can play. He transferred over from South Carolina State. That is a high major D1 in the SEC. And we know he can bring the hat. But I want to see more of ball skills going up to get the ball in the air. He likes, he likes the big hit. We all know this. But he has room to improve on, on, on his footwork on his ball skills and all of those things in that nature. So Shiloh Sanders, I'm looking for a big year. You are one of the leading return uh, players from the defense last year. So you should be teaching these guys, the newer guys, the ropes of how things should get done. How things should get done at Jackson State and the SWAC. Next guy I want to bring up, Aubrey Miller. I already talked about him in the previous video. And I wanted to bring him back up because I think, this is my prediction, I think Aubrey Miller will win. He will win Defensive Player of the Year in the SWAC. I'm, I'm, I, I might put a bet on him. I think he will win Defensive Player of the Year in the SWAC. He had 100-plus tackles last year. I think he's coming back with a vengeance. I think he wants to prove people wrong. I think he's going to try to increase his draft stock because I he has a chance to play at the next level. This guy is a beast. He is 6'2", 225 pounds of muscle. He has a motor. He can cover both sides of the field. He can get there. He makes tackles. He makes plays. He forces fumbles. He does all those things. So with James Houston leaving, I expect him to step his game up even more than what he did last year. So R.B. Miller. Defensive player of the year. I'm going with that, man. I'm going with defensive player of the year. Number two. I'm sorry, number three. The transfer from Texas A&M, Antonio Doyle. He's 6'3", 250 pounds. They got him at 250. That's a big, big young man. Now, he has coming in with Jackson. I mean, leaving Texas A&M. He was a four-star recruit coming out of high school, I believe. Ranked by 247.com. So he has a chip on his shoulder and he surprised a lot of folks going over to Jackson State. He could have went to a lot of schools, but I think he saw what James Houston did. And I think the coaching staff believes he can fill the shoes that James Houston is leaving to be a complete and dominant edge rusher. And that's what James Houston was. And so I'm looking for Antonio Doyle to kind of put his himself in that same sentence as James Houston. He's going to get things done. He's going to get it done. That's my number three guy who, why Jackson State has a chance to have a better defense this year. Number four. Number four. Y'all all love him. Y'all know him as Nugget, Mr. DeWan Warren. Now, he led Jackson State in interceptions, I believe, last year in the SC. I'm sorry, the Celebration Bowl game. He had a bad game, and a lot of those guys did. 
That's probably the worst game that they played all year. A lot of those guys did. But Nugget has to get better at putting himself in better positions to make plays. He got burned a lot. He got caught looking a lot. But he's very, very talented. Coming out a couple of years ago, he was the number one junior college cornerback in the nation. That's not hard. I'm sorry. That's not easy to do. To be the number one cornerback? Now, he has a chance to improve his stock. And he has to prove himself as being a, a shutdown corner. We know Travis Hunter is going to be on the other side. Now, DeJuan Warren, you've been there. This is your year. This is your time to get things correct. And you shut down one side. Travis Hunter shutting down another side. Woo! These cornerbacks of Jackson State has a chance to make history, to make plays, to mark, put, put their stamp on swack history books. I'm sorry. I'm loving my words a little bit, but y'all let me know, man. So, Shiloh Sanders, Antonio Doyle, Aubrey Miller, DeJuan Warren. These guys have a chance to put their mark on this defense this coming year, and I believe they will do it. It's going to be hard to beat that group from last year, to be better than what they were last year. I expect Jackson State to have more interceptions this year, put more emphasis on making plays on the ball, a lot of times they got burnt because they wanted to go with the big hit. And again, I think their nickname was the headed gang in, in the secondary. So I expect them to kind of change things up, try to keep things more in front of them this year and play the ball, either go for the interception or knock it down. I want to see that more in the secondary. So with that being said, could this group, this new group of Tigers have a chance of being better than last year's group and that's going to be a tall task to, to do y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all think this is possible jackson state is going to be special again on defense they're going to be special overall i believe again i've done a video saying that i believe they're going to win the swag again this year but these guys have a chance to make their own mark and be incredible on their own rights so y'all let me know down in the comments if i'm right or wrong Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, the 20 Game Sports. And as always, when I leave you a little, little tidbits of information on your best day, be better. The 20 Game Sports, I'm out. Peace.